When does a fire separation require a fire resistant rating? Hi, my name is Isam. I'm the senior designer at ISD Architect and retail designer. In this video, we're going to talk about the fire separation, the fire resistant rating, and the fire protection rating. In this example that I've just sketched, I show a typical mixed-use commercial building with different compartments. This is supposedly, or ju let's just imagine that this is a retail, it could be a supermarket, and this is a restaurant, and this would be a second story of offices. Now, the assembly that separates between the different zones or different compartments, the demising wall here, for example, and this is a floor. So the demising wall mu must have a fire resistant rating due to the fact that these compartments have different uh, functions or different uses. Now we have two scenarios here. We have a fire separation that does have a fire resistant rating, that there is a mechanical HVAC air duct coming from this zone or this compartment penetrating a beam here a steel beam that supports this floor and then turning and penetrating this floor and going upwards air duct when penetrates the beam the beam here is considered as part of the fire separation Therefore, any penetration to the beam would require a closure. And a closure in this case is a damper or a fire damper around the perimeter of the penetration. The same goes when you penetrate the upper fire separation because this is also a fire separation. Basically, the fire and the smoke should be resisted from moving from one compartment to the other. Now the other scenario, which I'm going to draft it right now, is if we assume that this tenant moved and moved over and took another bay. Let's assume that the lease has changed and this tenant which is whatever McDonald's or whatever tenant wants to expand so I'll draw some more people here to show continuity of space so in this case we don't have a fire separation chairs we don't have a fire separation now the space flows in this case the beam and the column supporting it is within one compartment so any penetration to that beam does not require a damper because we are not penetrating a fire separation now the damper would still be required here now if we reach let's assume that this is the roof it's pretty low roof in this case let's assume that this is a roof so there is a parapet here that last penetration because the roof does not require a fire resistant rating then no damper would be required at this penetration so I hope you like this video uh, in the coming uh, videos I'm going to talk a little bit more about the fire separation and the compartments of uh, that that is required in commercial buildings and also the fire escapes Thank you very much and have a nice day.